Hi everyone, this is Danella with Princess Pretty Much. And I'm here to do just a short video of what uh, I've been doing lately. So I'm holding my phone, so if it's shaking, please forgive me. I'm holding it with my hand. But I did want to share this. Thoughts for a good life. This is a Peter Popper Press book. Can you see that? Did that is that focusing? Yeah. Sorry about that glare. And that's the back. And this is torn. This is the cover, but if I take off the cover, which I am going to do, the book itself is gorgeous. Yeah, that's a gorgeous book. And this is a, what it looks like on the back. And they're pretty. And has beautiful uh, artwork. And here it is, copyright 1959 by the Peter Parker Press. How awesome is that? And I have another one. It's um, another one that I'm going to sell once I get my shop up and running. But it just has sayings on every day of the month. I think that is so cute. I will be selling this one also because I have another one. Um, I was going to use this as a junk journal. Then I read and looked at it again. And I said, this is Peter Popper Press. And uh, for uh, Peter Popper Press, you can't say that fast enough without getting tongue-tied. But those of uh, us that love those journals and some of you all that collect them, because I only have like maybe four of those Peter Popper Press journals, uh, but if you're a collector, this would be a nice addition to your collection. Something vintage and beautiful like this. It's, and I hope that red is showing up. It is red and it's vibrant. It's, it's an orangey red, but it's it's really pretty. And it's, you see how big it is. Let's see. Yeah. It's just a little bit, it's almost the same size as my hand. I don't. I have long fingers, but I don't have big hands. So... This is a nice small book. So once I get the shop up and running, that will be in there. These I found at the outlet. All of these items I found at the outlet. But this, these are strips of leather that I am going to make out of traveler's notebooks. Uh, I don't mind these uh, these holes right here. They're, they all have these um, from this company. Let's see. You see that? And this is another sticker that was on there. But I'm going to work that in. This these, this is going to be a part of the closure right here. I'll probably um, use ribbon. Most likely it'll be ribbon. But look how cute that is. This is the black one. And uh, I'll put the ribbon back here through those loops and make that a closure for that. Here is a green, it's a hunter green. And this is the same company. See how pretty those are? I didn't measure these, I should have measured these, but I'll have the measurements once I get it up in the shop. And this is like an olive green. It is so pretty. These leather pieces are so pretty. If I'm going out of focus, it's because I'm looking too. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, and same closure. I'm going to use that as closures and put ribbon. And this is a pebbled brown leather. Let's show this real close. You see that? Okay. And this is how that looks as a traveler's notebook. And it's nice. It's very nice. Very good leather. It's not. It's a floppy. It's, it's soft, but it, I think it'll make a great traveler's notebook. Something that's not too expensive, or not expensive at all. I'm not gonna price these expensive, but because um, yeah, I want people to enjoy them that might want to just try out the feel of 
traveler's notebooks and don't want to pay a lot of money for it. I don't have a specific name <laughs> that I'm going to call these. But yeah, I think they're very, very nice. I'm sorry, this one is was red. I, I hope you could tell that. This was like a burgundy. And then this is a chocolate brown. And I found this. Let's see. This is coming into focus. Someone made this. And uh, this was in all these were in a book bin. This was in the books. And so these were deep down and under some books. And I found this. And then I found those. Those were just laying, uh, you know, just uh, spread out over a bin. And I found all of those. But this one was in the books. And I just really liked it. And I said I was going to, I guess, look back over the TV shows that I've, I've, uh, I've enjoyed. Because what else could you do? But I'm also thinking about selling it. Because I know there are bigger TV watchers than myself. Because uh, I can't think of a lot of shows. Uh, that I really enjoy watching. There's just a few because I prefer reading, actually, and getting out and about, of course. So, although I am currently into the Game of Thrones, <clears throat> I'm looking at the, um, I'm, I think I'm on the sixth season of Game of Thrones, uh, the series. Uh, I am enjoying that. The fight scenes are awesome. The monsters are awesome. So, I'm enjoying that. So, yeah, I'll probably sell this. Also, if you look at this, someone already put holes in it. And then one down here. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And if it's not too big of a deal for you. And it's, it's, it's worn. As you can see, it's beautiful. Beautiful looking rustic leather. So whoever did this did a great job, and I think it'll make a great uh, traveler's notebook or just a cover to a journal, actually. Journal. So that's nice, which is the same thing as a traveler's notebook. Okay. All righty. Okay, so on a video that I did previously, I said that I couldn't really, the magazine thing uh, uh, didn't really appeal to me. I I couldn't get inspired, but I struggle with that, not being able to get inspired because I love, okay, so who hasn't seen, um, like Shannon Green or Dee Dee Wellington, uh, magazine art journals. Um, I love, love the way, uh, they, uh, create inside these magazines and I think they do a beautiful job and I was like, I really, really don't want to give up on that. Uh, so I tried to look through magazines that could appeal to me. I mean, I found all kind of different magazines, uh, but I, it didn't grab my attention, if you could relate to that. So when I saw these, and I've seen them before at the outlet in the bins, but I just, you know, I just didn't pay any attention to it. But... This last time that I picked them up, I got kind of excited and said, I love wine. <laughs> and so, these Wine Spectator magazines, I said, um, let me get a couple of those. Because I can't just pick up one. I have to have an even number. Some may say that's a little OCD. I don't care. That's something that I, I do. <laughs> so... Yeah, I said I'll get these magazines, and since I enjoy wine, and these magazines are huge, like I like huge uh, books and journals, I thought this would help me get inspired to do art, some artwork in these magazines. Okay, and so this is one, and um, this is the second one I got. And I like the way these, I picked these two because it was a lot. I picked these two because of the fold out. It folds out. Can you see that? I think that, and that, that's what appealed to me the most. Sorry about the ding, the rings. 
Okay, and these are the Atlas books. And I started in the front of this is a Atlas of Canada, and this cover is beautiful. And this is leather, and all I did was uh, tape the spine with this black tape. I'm gonna um, overlay that with that with some gray duct tape though, and make it look a little neater. I think the gray will make it look a little better too. And so this is the back of that. And see, that's the gray. This is the black uh, tape that I put. You see how uneven that is? I think I'm going to put the gray uh, tape on there. So this is the way I did this. I am going to decorate that. I haven't decided what. But I did use acrylic. This is all acrylic backgrounds. These are just backgrounds. Yeah, I think these are so nice. And then I think they turned out pretty good. I love doing these backgrounds in these journals. And I'm leaving this because this is the uh, first Canadians. Uh, and I, of course, I'm keeping these, this page as it is. Alrighty. I hope you can see that it wasn't too fast. Uh, and I left these uh, as they were and I just did this background. I just did the background, but I kept uh, these actual photos original to the book. I think they're beautiful. Uh, I haven't decided uh, how much more I'm going to do to this page, but I love that. Oh, yeah, and when I did this page, this is what inspired me to give the magazines another try because Dee Dee Wellington does uh look her look her up that's her pay that's her channel Dee Dee Wellington and when she does magazines she does things like this and when I captured this I looked at it again and I was like oh, maybe I can uh deal with uh, the magazines and get creative and you know, stuff like that. So that's the page that inspired that. I plan on painting inside. I was using a big brush. I didn't feel like use, uh, getting a smaller brush. So that's why this page isn't done. But I'm going to leave these cubes uh, intact and paint uh, around those. And this is a page I did here. I love these. These are so big and pretty. Love, love, love. And I think that's as far as I got with... No, it's not. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to leave this. Can you see that? And I'm going to leave this. And I'm going to paint uh, all over. I'm going to leave this also. And then I'm going to paint the rest of the background. And just like I left that, I painted the rest black. I left a little spot up there available to just be more creative and this I left that and painted around that and I think that's it with this one it is it's as far as I got with the Atlas of Canada and this is Britannica Atlas and I just use white book tape with this it's a it was a silky but I'm also going to redo this and I'm and I'm going to decorate this cover and it's leather but I'm going to decorate this cover I haven't done the inside I'll wait I'll wait to do that last and this is the front of the book remember I said I I didn't do the front I started in the back on this one and here we go this is the back and these are the pages I prepped This is turning out to be a long video. Hope you stayed with me to check out 
these prep pages. I have fun doing them. And uh, I hope uh, you all, if you like these, to try it yourself. Sometimes, oh, uh, okay. It's something different, something new, it can be something fun. And totally relaxing. So just like that was yellow, let me show you. Okay, so I use this this yellow. I just added more orange. See how those yellows, that's why I started from the back. Uh, and on this one and started in the front on this one because I used the same colors. And so, yeah. And that's the back. I have not touched that either or the back cover. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video. Thank you for stopping by. Subscribe, like, comment, or all of the above. Thank you. You all have a great day.